a fascinating history so far of this young guy who uh, was from this humble background, being tutored, being brought up with a Scot-Irish Presbyterian background, uh, getting involved in the revolutionary cause, being wounded, and then going to study law under George Wythe and Thomas Jefferson, and eventually he became the governor of Virginia and then the Secretary of War. Finally, James Monroe was elected the fifth president of the United States. Now, we look back in history and we sort of assume, well, America broke free from Britain and sure, it's going to go on. And, and a lot of times people are, are critical. They try, try to rewrite history and be very critical of the founders of the country. But you have to understand, this country was doing something that had never been done before in world history. We were setting up a republic that was a democratically elected republic that was a representative form of government where the people were king ruling through their representatives this had never been done before the whole rest of the world was kings and emperors and kaisers and cons and leaders and so the leaders at this very critical time at the infant part of america's history were important in his first inaugural address march 4th of 1817 james monroe warned what raised us to the present happy state? The government has been in the hands of the people. To the people, therefore, is the credit due. So he's highlighting the fact that we don't have a king. Uh, he goes on, it is only when the people become ignorant and corrupt, when they degenerate into a populace, which was a word for mob, that they are incapable of exercising the sovereignty or the, the ruling, so the people will rule as long as the people are capable. But he says, once the people stop being educated and moral, he says it turns into chaos. James Monroe continues, usurpation is then an easy attainment and a usurper soon found. So once the people turn into this mob, then a usurper can come along and take power. And you're back to a, a dictator. Monroe continued, the people themselves become the willing instruments of their own debasement and ruin. So when people give in to sexual immorality and all kinds of uh, throwing off restraint, then it turns into social chaos out of which they want somebody to fix it. And that's when you get back to a tyrant, a dictator. James Monroe continued, if we persevere, we cannot fail under the favor of a gracious providence. My fervent prayers to the Almighty that he will be graciously pleased to continue to us that protection which he has already so conspicuously displayed in our favor.